I know that we live in a um, a culture that is very time oriented and very busy. Everything runs like this. We attend a lot of gatherings, sporting events, entertainment events, all manner of events. There has to be a gathering in the earth where a people come together and we transcend the moment that we're in where we feel the presence of God. And then we got to learn sometimes to just sit in his presence. expect six days out there in the world and we come together as a church and sometimes we got a sense when the Holy Spirit wants to do something in your heart outside of a man outside of a sermon I mean really we could just go home right now sometimes more than what you need is, is a sermon is just need to sense and know that the presence of God is tangible And for those of us who are young in the faith, it's so easy to take what we feel right now for granted. All across this country, there are places people are gathering, it's like Ichabod. It's like we don't feel the manifest presence of God. And in these last days that we're living in right now, these end times, I mean, these little outpourings of glory. And I want to encourage you, if you're young in the faith, man, sit in that outpouring. Lean into that outpouring. Sometimes you, you're watching us worship, don't even know what you need, you will get if you just lean into God's presence in that moment. Spectators always leave things on the table that God intended to give you. You'll never know in a moment like this when the Spirit of God can speak to your word about your future. Can tell you that's your husband or your wife can tell you that deal you're about to make, don't make it. Or just remind you that you're loved and that you're seen. And that even in the middle of trial, you're not forgotten. For some of you, you just need to know that you're seen and that you're loved. And although you, you may leave this room and go back out to problems and situations, there is this sense of assurance that the Lord is with you and what you're going through. Sometimes we just need to sit in His presence to feel that. David said this one thing I desire that will I seek I may dwell in the house of the Lord forever that is there is nothing you're gonna feel no orgasm no high no bottle no touch. There's nothing you're going to feel on this side of heaven more powerful than what we're lingering in right now. The presence manifest of Almighty God. Your high will come down. Your orgasm will go away. You'll come down from that stupor and still feel just as miserable as you was before. But there is one thing that will satisfy your soul, watch this word, perpetually and continually. It's this right here, this moment right here. Those tears that you're shedding, this moment right here, this will satisfy the deepest longings of your soul. The presence of Almighty God. Do I got a witness anywhere out there? It's hard to be depressed in His presence. It's hard to worry in His presence. You come into His presence and the problems you had outside there, they seem so small. Things fade away. Chains break. Heavy burdens on your shoulder just roll off and yokes are destroyed. And it's sometimes in our busyness 
We rob ourselves of moments like this, both in corporate gatherings, in your car, in your job, in a gym, in the shower, busy. But is there anyone thankful for the manifest presence of the Lord?